Welcome to NeuroNoodle's Neurofeedback and Neuropsychology Podcast, featuring tech legend Jake Gunkelman. He's the man who has read well over half a million brain scans, and Dr. Marie Swingle, author of iMinds. Our goal is to provide information and promote options for better mental health. The NeuroNoodle Podcast is supported by listeners and businesses just like you. Marie. Marie. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. No, no, no. I, yeah, I'm, I'm the one that's fouled. All right, here we are. I'm Marie. Hey, I'm, I'm Mike. That means you can get in here. How is day one? Excellent. Yeah. Marie wasn't supposed to be here. Did I say your name right? Because I got a lot of... Oh, right. I've got an Apple podcast comments that says you must pronounce Marie's name correctly. All right. So day one, Jerry, how did you do as usual? I had fun. Yeah, it was all you know. I do my talks. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Okay. <laughs> but and I heard good things about the talk, so it wasn't just me having a good time. Did anybody ask for a refund? Uh, <laughs> no, I don't think so. I don't think so. <laughs> no, they're waiting to see what the rest is. Uh, but also, Dirk, Dirk's talk was fabulous, yes. yeah. as you'd expect. Yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah. I mean, when... You're the most famous neurosurgeon in the world. Okay. Your talk is going to be pretty good. Yeah, yeah. So, so to be able to see Dirk, his talk, because I missed it, Jay. Is there any way that I could possibly see it? Oh, gee. Because I came in late. Gee, Dirk. <laughs> He's got his Funny talk. you should mention that. <laughs> Dirk, Dirk's talk is part of the podcast streaming. And the persons who paid for the streaming get the videos. Oh. But what can, what if they didn't pay for the streaming we're in here? Is it possible, like, in a month or so? Oh, my God, I wish I was in Susan City. Did I say that right? Sassoon. Sassoon City. <laughs> Sassoon. I was in all the biker bars the last couple of days. Nobody corrected me. <laughs> okay, now this makes perfect sense. Yeah. Nobody corrects me. That's right, that's right. Well, no, I, I try to correct myself. I, I do try, but, you know, as Yoda said, do or do not, there is no try. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, so... Or so as we say to our clients as well, I don't want to hear this try stuff. <laughs> so now, as we're all three of us are together, first time ever, the, t- yeah. the, the three amigos, or amigas, okay. I heard today's a very special day. So... No, it's today. So, Ma- Marie, hold on. Uh-oh. Would you please present, on behalf of the podcast, on this beloved day, of this beloved man of what we have. Come on here, Santiago. My pleasure. <laughs> He's been part of the podcast, too. We're, we're all mic'd up now. Okay. All right. So, I'm presenting a mystery. On behalf of Santiago, Marie, Pierre. All right. No, please you please give him the white box <laughs> and please admire the wrapping inside. It took a lot of time, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's hard with depth perception. I don't have any 3D depth perception at all. Let's really, let me just help pull that out here. Let's put on the bar here. <laughs> <laughs> How do we? <laughs> do you see the patch on there? <laughs> Jay? I patch on him. If I was smart, I would knock the head off and put your bobble head up on there. But on behalf of the podcast, we want to wish you a happy, happy birthday. Thank you very much. With much love, much love. I rode motorcycle for 18 years until I got hit head on. Well, I couldn't find a side car. Yeah. I know, I know, I know. But it's a very year, a rare individual that uses a sidecar like yourself. But there you go. I'm sure is Renita gonna be here? I'm sure she's gonna love that on her TV. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice <add-on. laughs> Have a great day, buddy. Thanks, Dave. Oh, we are good. We are good. So, day one. Good? Good. No more jet lag? You good? I know I asked you yesterday. Yeah, you live in jet lag. 
Everybody gets it if it's two in the morning body time, you know. <laughs> well, you know, Singapore. Are you gonna move home base to Texas? You look like a Texas guy to me. I'm just saying, yeah. Well, it depends. Hang out by the border. No offense. <laughs> We'll edit that out in post. We'll edit that out in post. <laughs> well, he's been posing as a um, lawn mower, mower, as painter. A, a painter, and today, as a, well, actually, today you actually were a chauffeur. I was chauffeuring for the Canadian crew today, yeah. so. Yeah. But uh, uh, as a world class, just a tech like me. No, no, over glorified. Over glorified. World, traveling the world. Yeah, come on in now. Hey, who is this? Say hi. Hey, come on in. Who are you? You're on the show now. Here, turn around your thing. Oh, jeez. Okay. All right. Uh, hold on. Lorraine. God dang. Lorraine. Nobody can have a simple name in this place. How was day one? Awesome. How was good to drink the water out of a fire hose? Uh, it's like you hit the button and then bam, right in the face. Yeah, all right, yes. okay. <laughs> and your favorite segment I hear was Jake Uncleman. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a planted question. I hear. Uh, I know. I can see it's your two that I am here. So, yes. So, to all the people, let's look right there. All the okay. people in the interview up there yeah. that missed out on this show, you got to get this lane to hear what happened. Because I don't even know what happened. All I know is that. It's Jay's birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday, Jay. <laughs> Happy birthday. All right. That was an ex now, would you like your water now? <laughs> I'm here now. I'm like, I get in the way. I was trying to be like, I think you're just audio. And I'm like, this way. No. Come on, come on, come on. We're just chatting here. We'll edit this out in post. I don't edit it anything anymore. <laughs> um... So, what what do we what was different from this year than last year, Jake, from day one? The difference was we had COVID, and now everybody's used to getting together. You've already had COVID. You beat the hell out of COVID. Yeah, that beat the hell out of me. Too. Oh no, you beat. 103 degree fever for three days is not. Three days, no. Uh, that, that was, no. That was tough to live through. Yeah, you beat the hell out of it. Yeah, I'm sure your pituitary took care of it. <laughs> <laughs> If, if it requires a pituitary, it's a whiff. There isn't it. Uh, all right, all right, all right. So now I see you. You got a nice haircut. Is there any particular reason why you got a haircut? Because it seems like this hair is longer than that hair. Uh, it's gonna balance out on Saturday. On Saturday, okay. I'm gonna auction off the beard, which I've done repeatedly over the years, uh, to the tune of seventeen thousand dollars total for seventeen thousand dollars. So that'd no. be about a dollar a strand. As <laughs> can I, can I, I got a buck on me. It just can I buy that one? It just proves there's no <laughs> no accounting for taste. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you are, you are, you are. I'm Mike. You are, you are Mike. Well, actually, well, yeah. I'm sure my levels are off. Now, as I'm looking at your eye patch, that is that a uh, Morlet? It's a Morlet wavelength. Wavelength. Okay. I tried with my good two eyes to get a Morlet wavelength on that patch. I hope. <laughs> Look. I couldn't. I couldn't get it. I'm sorry. Come on, come on. Well, it's a small target. You know. <laughs> couldn't get it. When when I, I contacted the artist who makes eye patches, yeah. she has some very very fancy ones and some that are really simple. And so there's a price of a real complex, a simple, and a very simple. And I didn't know whether this was going to be more or less expensive. And so I contacted her on the email and I said, and she said well, what do you want on your eye patch? I said, a Morlet wavelet. And she said, well, what's that? And I said, look it up on Google. I, I could describe it to you. It's a cosine tapered sine wave. <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> so if you got a Morlet wavelet. She sent me an email back with a Morlet wavelet. You know, you look it up online, you can find it real quick. And uh, so, you know, the, the patches have a Morlet wave, but a cosine tapered sine wave. And For uh, the young technicians out there, Morlet uh, wavelength is what, Jay? 
Wavelet? Wavelet. There's a, a, a technique for analysis of the EEG frequency spectrum. Yeah. You have to have one wavelet for every frequency you want to look at. Yeah. But it's very quick and it's very accurate. It's like two small ones and then a big one in the middle or something like that, right? That's okay. a five. That's a five. Okay. Very good. How you like me now? You can have a three, you can have a five. Those are both quick. You can have a seven that takes a little too long. So if I'm drinking too much beer and I have a problem, is that a Morlet wavelength, okay? It's a wavelet. Wavelet. <laughs> Half of the fun is correcting me on this show. <laughs> And, and the other half is what? <laughs> Speaking of my other half. Oh, sh I, I, I meant you're better 95%. Yeah, I got it. You were busy yesterday. So the takeaway today, uh, Santiago, what was it for you, my friend? Besides Jay, uh, we, already, we already popped up Jay, and it's his birthday. God bless him for being born. Yeah, so I wasn't here last year, so I'm sure it wasn't as fun as it is this year with me. And... Well, if you missed it last year, that'll be, on, that'll be online one day soon, too. Is that Lisa Come here. Come here, Lisa. Lisa. Say hello to the interweb there. Hello. Hi, everybody. I want to thank you for liking uh, my page today. It was, it was so cool. The viewership spiked at least three. Hey, I'm dying over here. I feel stupid when I'm hanging out. Hey, girlfriend. Hey. Yeah. He says I make him feel stupid too, so we can tell you. What you can't see me? <laughs> All right, so. I don't believe well, we, did we see each other last uh, year? I don't remember. Okay, shame on you. But you know you can see the link from last year once we decide to put it up. But for the people that missed this year, what was your big takeaway? Oh, we're only on day one. I know, Jay's right here. Jay was awesome. Jay was amazing. Nobody went to the back. Give me your best course light. The good one. Yeah, go in the back. I will see you tomorrow. Just for now. Michael has been working on the slides. I'm working on my anterior cellulite. Certainly are. Hey, Ron. Say hi. You're, now you're on the show, finally. Can we get a commitment for you in 2023 to finally come on the show besides this? Of course we can. Yes, you can. All right, good. Okay. Now you can talk to Jay. On tape. Yeah. It's on tape. He's so busy. He's so busy. How was day one for you, my friend? Oh, excellent. Of course. Yeah. Of course. Now, last year was kind of special because it was after. Thank you, my dear. Uh, here's to Jay. His uh, 64th birthday. <laughs> Times two, 74. 74. Jay, I'm trying to work with you. <laughs> La last year we had, uh, we had, it was the first time everybody got together after COVID, so it was kind of a special thing. Uh, besides that, what did you notice this year versus last year? Some interesting different people than it were last year. Like this guy? A lot of young people. Wait, Would Santiago's you know? young? Younger, I would say. Younger, okay. <laughs> no kidding, no kidding. Well, there's a lot more glorified text here. And uh, more glorified text. I think the level of presentations is much higher. Yeah. Um, Mark, I mean, we're talking about Dirk's presentation yeah. was just... Dirk killed it? Amazing. Absolutely amazing. So if you missed it, if you missed Dirk, what was... What was like the aha, wow, that was, for the people that missed it, you want to check the link out. Which 50 times. Yeah, all right. I mean, it, it was, it, it was it non-stop. Clicked and clicked and clicked and yeah. clicked. It was just over and over and over and again. And it integrated so many things into one talk. But tomorrow, this talk is going to be on thalamocortical dysrhythmia, cross-frequency coupling, which is a, another added level of complexity. But it's... It, it's a basic failure mode in the brain, and it cuts across the DSM. Well, the DSM, because we love the DSM here yeah, in Sea Side City. We wanted this out in Paris, never to see her. What kind of symptoms will we be seeing for that array of uh, 
Yeah, you see, you just talk, the, talk about. The dilemma for arthrodystrophy yeah. is when your alpha frequency slows down to about six cycles a second, and you lose the lateral inhibition, which keeps the function that's there there, and other functions invade, and you get gamma surrounding it like a donut. Like a donut. Show the people over here. So, like a donut. Yeah. Like it surrounds it like a donut. But that 40 hertz donut basically is linearly related to the sound of tinnitus. Or the pain, or the so movement. a ring, a ring. Okay. It, so depending upon where in the brain this problem is, it's a different symptom. Got it. Dirk had an algorithm, a machine learning algorithm that would identify tinnitus versus normal, 100% accurate. But somebody with Parkinsonism came in and it said tinnitus because it's the same problem in a different network. And, uh, and he just published a paper in Nature in 2020 uh, that, that basically showed uh, the, the cross frequency uh, coupling thalamic cortical dysrhythmia. And tinnitus is in the auditory cortex, pain in the somatosensory, the motor cortex and premotor area for movement disorders like Parkinsonism and tremors of various sorts. And then the answer is saying that for reward deficiency, which is, includes OCD, depression. OCD, who's back here? Oh, <laughs> Joshua, come here, say hello to everybody. This is Joshua Moore. Out of Vancouver, not Canada, but Vancouver, oh, where? Oh, we're doing filming. Yeah, we are. Yes. <laughs> Vancouver, where? Washington. Run, Ron, run. Washington. This, this is the youngest person that's going, uh, going to be on our show for a while, I think. Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, where's the, uh, what color cap? I, for, I forgot what the color cap is for the small Pro one. Probably a green. Green. Okay. Yeah, that's a green cap. We haven't capped him yet. We haven't capped him yet. That's a good looking kid right there. Thank God for her mom, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so Joshua, what, we were here last year together. The difference between last year and this year is plus one. Last year, but he was just a bump. Yeah, eight yeah. Months, eight months old. Yeah. You were knocking on the door. Okay. What was your takeaway this year? <laughs> Besides Jay and his birthday, and <laughs> and Dirk. Wait, was Dirk today? Dirk was today. Yeah, yeah. What What did you get out of Dirk? We did learn about the triple network. Okay. Um, what What is the triple network again? On the spot, Josh. Let's go. I read my notes. Um, so the triple network are three large networks. They relate to essentially how the brain idles. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is your test. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> larger networks in the brain. Fair enough. But if you want to learn more, you have three hey. large networks. Hey, one more. All right, yeah, let's Come on. Make sure you get the redhead in. She's fiery. <laughs> there we go. Right. Thank you. That will be published in our old salt. Oh, the old salty? <laughs> so, Jay, you still remember? Yeah. Okay. I, 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 no, I backed out. <laughs> one and done. <laughs> one and done. Right, so um, we met your good friend Dave. How do you know Dave? He's in the military as well. Which Dave? Portland. He's got a beard. He looks just it's like you. <laughs> He's got a beard. You got a face yeah. this one, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? Pete sometimes gets names wrong. Yeah. <laughs> but he, but he's from your neck of the woods, and he walked in with you. I thought he was. Yeah. Yeah. All right, never mind. So John, there, there, there are a surprising amount of people from my neck of the woods. I'm finding, which is really exciting. Well, it's called cooperation. Yes. Hey, how are we doing? Good. <laughs> nice kid. Yeah. Pretty great. He's been for you, by the way. You should be in. Michelle, say hello. I know. Oh, hi. Hi there. <laughs> I didn't so, know for a while. Though. So what is the difference? It looks like you've lost weight from last year to the, this year. Did something happen? I have. It got displaced. Oh, okay. There we go. Look <laughs> at that happy kid. So uh, you put the green cap on him now? Are we work on an alpha theta? What, what, what are we doing? We haven't actually done any wrong no? on this kid oh, yet. Oh, right. We'll edit that out in post. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> See? You know, parents parents can't be the therapist. No, they kids, can't. You know? No, they can't. But you know, I think we do something there for autism. To not that the child has autism, <laughs> but I'm just talking. <laughs> Back out now, feet. I don't know how many feet you. Uh, have, we'll edit that out too. Are currently in use. 
<laughs> so, 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 but getting back to Marie. Oh! My God, why is it so hard? Ma, Mari, ma, 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 ma. We gotta train him up. Yeah. So, are you front of the room or back of the room person? Uh, depends. So, back of the room. You're in the back. You're next to the, the video camera. Well, you know what? I'm gonna have to creep up because I'm having trouble seeing. Okay. So you started out in the back, okay. All right. All right. So you came all the way from Canada. Is it Vancouver, Canada? So we had Vancouver, Washington, and Vancouver. Okay. All right. Now, for those of you out there that don't know Marie, she's the author of Our Minds, Internet Addiction. Um, just recently did a, a very popular uh, video. I don't know if you saw it, uh, Santiago, on porn addiction. I did. Uh, did you? Okay. All right. So uh, we had a lot of people uh, were commenting on uh, on that, and uh, they said we. Gee, need I wonder how that could be an interesting topic. <laughs> <laughs> well, then a triple X show. Yeah. One of the major, major, shall we say, internet um, yeah. pastimes now. Okay. Pastime, yes. Yeah. Um, and I think people need to, to talk about it. They that. liked your approach. Okay. Of course, they adored Jay's approach. And then me, they liked how I edited it. So. Okay. <laughs> be careful because when you're talking about that topic, you edit too much and you don't learn it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, in order to grow the pie, you have to educate more people on this, and um, and it's not about being puritanical. It's about yeah. really knowing what artificial stimulation does to our brains and our emotions. I think that's a huge thing. Exactly. Last thing I'll bring up, and we'll 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 wrap it up. And maybe we'll edit this out for tomorrow, but. <laughs> There was a, uh, a LinkedIn, Jay. There was a post by our buddy in Florida, uh, Bobby Thatcher. Okay. He had a, a love comment for the iMedicine guys. Okay. And it was basically, I'm going to say nitpicking or whatever it is, but we can't have our community calling our babies ugly. Sure. <laughs> How can I reword that? Well, did our, our he, commercial. Did, did you see what I'm talking about? Yeah. Okay. Uh, seriously, I will edit this, but how do we put this out there? Because I already made a comment. I put it through chat GPT, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I swear to God. I, I go, I go, it's hard enough to deal with drug, uh, drug companies and and the, the you know standard medical procedures and we have our own fighting that doesn't grow the pie that's what i originally said i put it in chat gpt and you'll see it's like 200 words can i interject here absolutely please so, so I, I realize you're just seeing hair today right? yeah great hair no. well thank you sir uh, you know my big issue is we should never never have any type of fighting or infighting about curiosity uh, of methods uh, of new techniques experimental or otherwise I don't think we should have infighting about things that we're trying to develop I don't think we should have fighting but I think please come on through how was the show today did you like it amazing amazing you hear that folks <laughs> All right, continue. I know, but I think we should be very discerning about who and why people are entering our discipline. And my big issue, this is my big yeah. dead horse, is about proper training. And if you don't have proper training, have proper mentorship. Okay. Because when you're working with the brain, you have to know something about the brain. When you're working with the brain, you have to know how to read or how the brain talks, and respect how the brain talks. And everything else, that's the advancement of the science. And, and it can be fun, and it should be done in a camaraderie, okay? as opposed to racism. Apart from people who aren't trained and couldn't care less about being trained. But those are the ones that I have an issue with. And please, you know, Jay, do you agree, Santiago? Um, 
Yeah. Whoa, you're pointing at me? Hold on before these guys get... You have one of the preeminent... Okay, we, we are with number one here, all right? This is the guy. Half a million brain scans. But Dr. Thatcher, he's another guy out there. He's working in Florida. He's got a, a database, and he's trying to protect his territory. In doing so, he's putting down somebody that's trying to break ground to make the pie larger. And the point is, look... Dr. Thatcher and uh, what's his name from uh, iMedisync, uh, Dr. Uh, Kang or Kang. Kang? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We all got issues. We all got issues. But it's a family. You keep it in house. You don't do it outside the house. It doesn't help. And ultimately, the FDA the FDA registers databases if they're yeah. good. They don't register if they're bad. Yeah. And the 510K uh, database approval was given to the Korean for their yeah. database. And you need the time to develop them. Yeah, it took them a decade to develop their database. And they collected about 2,000 subjects, yeah. and they separated the male and female for the first time in a database. On my advice, based well, on my instinct, that they would be different. No. Because, geez, don't you know males and females are different? Jay, <laughs> Jay, okay. never, Jay never gives advice. Or input. Nobody I, asks you at all. I gave I gave them the best bad free yeah. advice they could get. But it turns out that the male and female brains are different, and the, the HBI database in Europe saw that yeah. the validity of it, and they collected more people in order to be able to split their database into male and female. You can't take a database of a thousand people and split it into two because there's not enough people to yeah. average. You know the date, the age ranges within enough people. So. You can't split the NeuroGuide database of 750 yeah. people in two and have a database. And you know, it's, it's basically too expensive to collect a new database, so yeah. he's, stuck with, he's stuck with his database from the 1970s and, you know, he I, processes I, it different ways, but that's, you know... It, it just, it seemed to me like a defensive... I know it's LinkedIn, I know it's a couple paragraphs, but still... Now, Santiago, he says he's not jet lag, and he hasn't said anything. No comment is good. I think it's good. All right, very good. I just think there's plenty for everybody. Yeah. Why, why worry about it? I mean, Co-opetition. Exactly. Yeah. Co-opetition. All right. Circular firing squads are not an efficient way yeah. to promote ourselves. That doesn't help. You know? And we all get way too comfortable on our own toes. Um, and I think we, we should hop over on the lily pads and... Uh, yeah. Exactly. All right, on that note, we'll see how that comes out. Doc Thatcher, I love you. <laughs> All right, let's see what happens. Maybe the sound came in, well, who knows? Edit out the rest and leave the love yeah. in here. You're, you're fine. Hey. <laughs> Bless you, man. Another birthday. Thank you very much for the present and for being here. Well, that's the present is being here, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That. Uh, well, just, first of all, your first present was the uh, the patch dive bar in Fairfield that doesn't sell t-shirts. <laughs> I was going to get you a t-shirt. I walk by a shop, and then I see this thing. I go, that's the guy. Yeah, I go, take it, take it, done. All right, we're out. Good to see you. Howdy, how you doing? Nice to be met. All right. Uh, Brian, you want me to hit pause? Yeah. All right, come on in. State, state your name. Uh, Welcome to the interweb. Really? So weird. I'm Kip. Nice to meet you. Mari. Santiago. The camera. You sound great. So say hi to our thousands and thousands of users. <laughs> well, it depends, you know, what the hashtags are. Okay, love you, sweetie. Yeah, you need my husband for this side. Bye -bye. Yeah. You need to get him on. Nick, we had Nick on. I know. He kills. He's really good. Yeah. I mean, I want to get that hair. Heck yeah. Get in here, go. Should I put a mask on? No. This is in the bar. I don't know. I want to get that mic back. <laughs> Hey, did you hide this race? Give me that back. <laughs> uh, 
have my Apple Watch running out of power, so I don't know what my heart rate is. I usually go, hey Siri, what's my heart rate? No, Jay, just a microphone. I heard, you know, blah, 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 blah. Uh, yeah. I'm okay, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Today, yes? Yeah. 64. 64. Yeah. 59 was a great year. Fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> well, good turnout. It's a good conference. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What would make it great? Well, we have two more days. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Dirk starts it out tomorrow morning. And Dirk yeah. is like, um, like drinking from a fire hose. Actually, I was trying to be in your brain today while Dirk was talking. If you get it all, you already know it all. Because I know a fraction of the things you're saying. I'm trying to put it down. Right, I'm going to walk around, guys. Okay. <laughs> Marie did a great job as usual. <laughs> he presents it in a way that I'll, 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 I'll unplug it. <laughs> Martin, good to see you in person. Dirk, I heard you did a great job. You should interview him. I'm trying to. Martine's been on, but you know, Dirk's a busy guy. You got him right now? Go into your uh, spam folder. <laughs> The problem is, even my emails, I tend to be using quite a bit behind on emails. <laughs> well, hold on now. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. So, yeah, now we are. And it was clip. Here we go. Come on, right in here. So, so I think we should get dirt. Yeah. I think we should get dirt to talk about something that isn't neuroanatomy, right? But is about the immune system because it's something new that I learned today. So, why don't you repeat that? For me? How about allergies? No, no, no. Immune well, system. Allergies? I have no. Healthy. I don't. Well, I'm just saying immune system. I was bringing it. Well, maybe we should consider some pathologies like <laughs> allergies. <laughs> because Edelman had the Nobel Prize for uh, immunology and he became a neuroscientist afterwards, trying to already look at it a long time ago. I tried to read his books. Did you ever read? Uh, there not understandable. Oh, I don't have to start. Uh, it's it's in intriguing, but I have no clue. So I don't think it'll be a book I'll pick up. Which book is this? The one he doesn't understand. If Martine doesn't get it, I'm not going to get it. Uh, it's, uh, but it, there's some interesting ideas in it, but I didn't understand them either. Maybe if I read them, read it again, or a third time, maybe, but not in the first time. Maybe, maybe drink them after a bottle of wine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes, <laughs> it might be the state they were yeah. in there, right? After a pizza and a glass of wine, <laughs> but, but there's a lot more insight. But, but Dirk, you were talking about the importance of sleep, and the importance of sleep for the immune system. Yes. Well, I will, but I think we should do it in a more quiet setting, probably, rather than... Are you saying this is not quiet? <laughs> oh, it is. <laughs> <laughs> who knows who knows will pick up in there? Who knows? No, Dirk, we're di dying to have you come on, and our thousands and thousands of viewers and listeners want to want to hear from you. Martin, your show is one of the most highest rated that we've had. Thank you. So that means you should come on and say how much you enjoyed yourself, and Turk should come on. <laughs> bring, bring out the competition. Can you get higher ratings? Well, we're trying to grow we, the We've pie. never been in competition, so uh, maybe only because he was living in next door in the Netherlands. So. No, we, we, always got, we always got along very well, so there's no uh, no competition. So if I come out to the Netherlands, you guys going to take me out? You know, I'm going to say hello to everybody. You know. I'm talking about my partner. 
I mean, I would, I would go up there and work in my car next. How do we get everybody organized, stop fighting, share the information? Because it should be almost like open source. Yeah, like, well, you're, you're already hitting the, the nail. Once money is to be made, that's yeah, where problems capitalism, start. Capitalism, I get it, okay. But money's, money is to be made in the drug companies, traditional medicine, and... Yeah, but, but you know what the issue is? It's so frightening enough. There's a very nice comparison, which is TMS. Yeah, yeah. So with, with your feedback, there's people out there, they stick electrodes on every part of the brain right. where you might not be able to... Right. See your thumb wing or whatever. Exactly, but the people do that with your feedback. With TMS, with TMS, we know we stimulate the brain directly, and it has side effects called epileptasy. So what happened, TMS came on in 2006, 2007, 2008, got FDA approval. Yeah. That's thriving in really like a very collegial atmosphere, etc. It's not having the same issues in your fever delta, because the machines are expensive, and people take it seriously. They think it's frightening. And your feedback is not frightening enough, because people can stick, stick something on there, and the side yeah. effects are not wild enough for people to make it frightening. Isn't that a cool thing? That's such a strange, but that's dead on, I think. The way people's minds work about why it's important or why it's worthwhile. Yeah. That, that, that's why we don't get standardization in your feedback. Where in TMS, everyone is using the same protocol. But so also, if TMS did right, what your feedback has done wrong. You know, Barry always said because the doctors took over sleep medicine, it grew. Right? Because Barry was a sleep researcher and he feels that. In our field, because it stayed more among psychologists, it's rare to recruit docs like you. That, that's the reason it hasn't grown. So, no, but it's, it's so, not, the, it's no longer so TMS, TMS was more medical. It was done in medical <laughs> No, and that one, psychologists can do it as well. Yeah, but that's one of the rare countries where it's uh, a rare exception. But it's Most places it's medical. Yeah. Should it be regulated? Yeah, I mean, we, we've been fighting for a long time to get FDA approval and your feedback, so not for relaxation like what people Yeah, 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 that's all to put, yeah. We've tried to organize instrumentation companies a long time ago, like, okay, okay, none of them can go for FDA by themselves, but if they have a combined effort, we should be able to get something along. We talk to lawyers, I mean, then you can enforce some kind of regulation, yeah. and people then will need to stick to one specific protocol, or otherwise it might be liable. If it's something like that doesn't happen, I mean, unless it happens. That, that's my point. You guys should be on a board, Jay and everybody. And We've been on those boards a long time ago. The field is... There's too much history and there's too many uh, dissonance. So, so we can't, we can't, we can't bust through it. No, I've, I've tried for a long time. Seriously, but if anything, ADD. Everybody should get together and say, you know what? We will take care of, not treat. Why can't we say treat? It's, the efficacy is there for ADD, isn't it? To the point where you say treat. Two conditions. Mom, I'm saying mom and dad doesn't know. All they know is my kid's bouncing off the wall. I'm going to give them a pill. Instead of doing the pill, they could do this. I can't see why we can't get together and say, you know what? If anything, besides relaxation and then finally PTSD, right? Well, FDA's... Uh, only regulation. Recently, yeah. Recently. That was a very specific... Did you read that? I read it. Consider the source. What they... Yeah. yeah. What was approved. But the military's been doing it for a long time. NASA's been doing it forever, okay? Yeah. All right, the, the jet fumes or whatever. I know, the VA does it. Okay. Well, if it's good enough for them, why can't we... Quit pointing at me. Are you on the air? Are you on the air? What's your name, young lady? Heather, how you doing? Pete Jansen's good to see you. You can speak around. Some of this may be used. How many, how many viewers do you have today? We have about 30,000 subscribers. How many? 30,000. 30,000. Depending on the episode, like we did one with uh, Marie Swingle on porn addiction, and believe it or not, that spiked the, you know. Oh, did it really? Of course it did. And we keep putting out content so Google will pick it up so the moms and dads, when they play uh, Google psychologists, they will find this and, and help them. And I'm, I'm going back to Thatcher and I met us there. They're scrambling. And like, There's two reasons why people don't buy. They're not sufficiently disturbed or they don't understand the offer. Fear, uncertainty, and doubt. 
we should not be doing that amongst ourselves. If anything, agree on ADD, ADHD, whatever you want to say to mom and dad. You know what? Instead of my kid taking Ritalin, they taking Ritalin to help them study. It's like, you know what? Why don't you try this? I know I'm preaching to the choir, but you guys are a proper excellent. Jay's been doing it, doing it since '72. Uh, all right. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I don't know how long I'm gonna be doing it. Okay. The, the goal of those uh, societies is ultimately to spread knowledge about. So I'm ASNR, INSR, whatever. My point is, who is the voice for neurofeedback? You have BCI. It's almost like you have all the operators. You should all be pitching in whatever twenty dollars a month or whatever for a marketing campaign to point to all the studies that have already been done. Because that's what happens with the, with the politicians. They say, well, I need to see more studies. Right? Did you know what I always do? That, that neurofeedback will come into itself when a drug when one of their divisions buys out the company with the manufacturers. Well, Nick, Yogurt is the closest to something like that going on, it seems like, with that hospital or that treatment center. Nobody is going to buy into an ending to something. You can train the brain to eliminate. If you eliminate, then you don't. That's like, everybody wants a subscription. A, subscri a prescription is a subscription, right? That's great. Hold on, Dirk, let me grab you here. You are really off the... All right. Come on. Actively, actively work against feedback. Like they promote studies that show that it doesn't work. Yeah, but doing a study, doing a study that shows something doesn't work is very easy. I mean, yeah, well, yeah, especially because our field is made it easier by having some studies. Automatic. Did you see? I think about the guy you had on from Kaiser. Yeah. I mean, uh, Dave. All fired up and all about funding and yeah. finding studies. And he's the well, one who's got that network of not um, well, here. Right? Uh -huh. I love it. Somebody's birthday. Somebody's birthday! Somebody's birthday! What? What? All right, give me a count. Give me a count. Three, two, one. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jay Gunkelman. Happy birthday to you. Yeah! Speech, speech, speech. Don't you guys know you're going to make my eye patch wet? <laughs> <laughs> they don't dry out that fast. <laughs> Thanks ever so much for coming. And, uh, my birthday was yesterday, but we'll celebrate it for three days. Yeah, yeah. 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 Right, yeah. Dinner already uh, for you tomorrow evening. Uh, for you that are vegetarian, I don't know exactly what they have for you, but the rest of us have prime rib. Uh, yeah. Uh, carving station and good wines at the dinner. So, uh, Jay, there, Jay, there's also lemon pepper chicken and quinoa salad and a salad bar and a baked potato go. bar. There you go. She okay. knows. Good eats. <laughs> good so, eats tomorrow. How about some cake? It, it, it's, it's cake day today. And tomorrow, save up your change because it's shave day. Maybe. Oh. I'm going to put down $2,000 to keep it. 
And, and if all of you can come up with more than that together, somebody's going to get the shaver. All right. Uh, 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 I'll, I'll probably be clean sheet master. If you guys aren't too damn cheap. I think we can do it. I, I leave the house only to go to the pharmacy or to this. And you got me out to a haircut. Yeah. <laughs> But thank you ever so much for coming. Uh, this is my annual outing, and uh, uh, it's always fabulous to see all my friends and meet new friends. And uh, if you've not seen the cakes already, uh, we've, we've got three cakes for vegans and uh, uh, gluten-free and regular people that just eat regular cakes. <laughs> Anyway, much better than the town. I, I, I talk about EG better than anything else, so uh, I'm, I'm at a loss of these social things. We want to see you blow out the candles for the Yeah. Blow the cake. <laughs> I didn't catch what was said. Blow the candles out. Blow the candles out. Jeez, that tradition is so passe. We can passe. stick it strong. <laughs> 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 well, I, I'm not going to unmask in here, you know? No, no, no. And um, I'm not going to eat the cake unless someone gets home. So. Well, don't yeah. stand yeah. on it and blow the candle. Do it. Well, I, think he Thank should you, wave, I think he should wave. A wave. How about a wave? Or use the sip mask unless or you, something. Unless you got... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Are you if, if he's able to blow... You can have it. We're new. What do you call it? Pinch hit? Pinch blow? Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, I don't want that piece. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, oh, there we go. One more. <laughs> Jake Uncleman, everyone. He wants the cake. He wants the cake. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Outstanding. Come on up and eat. Them. Enjoy, enjoy. I'm not I'm yeah. Woodstock for neuroscience. <laughs> Your old man. Huh? You know, you, you the <laughs> so, the mask is going to come off. Uh, you'll excuse me for a moment. After you, Mary. My nose just runs, you know? You're going first. Do we have something to catch it? Do we have plates or? Is it, oh, yeah, we better catch it. Do you have a tablecloth from the back or anything? Yeah. <laughs> How about a salad bowl? I would put it around your neck. Yeah, just like that. Okay. Just like a barber shop. Give her one of these uh, blue things. The red one? Stepping. How many ticks you find in there, Ron? <laughs> Whatever you want to cut off, cut off. If you leave something, I'll leave it for a day. One day.
And Jay, at one point someone took advantage of that, didn't they? Can you tell us the story behind that? Oh yeah. Well, Nick, Nick and Chip... Nick and Chip... They ended up bidding for the right... I think Ron's done this before. So once upon a time, Jay had this beard shaving experience and they left him with a rather inappropriate uh, mustache, which he had to keep for 24 hours. A braid, on, a braid on either side with little beads in it, which Chip did a nice job braiding it up. But Nick left me with a Hitler mustache. <laughs> Did you catch that? Is that, is that, that, that Nick over there? That did that? Nick over it, perhaps? I took a picture Sunday night, I left it on for a full day, and I sent it to Nick and he came back and shaved it. <laughs> You're going to get carded now. Done this before as well. <laughs> now, I don't want to gross anybody out, but that's not one of those manscaper instruments, is it? <laughs> Because your boy is the best. The, the, the bidding has just gone to four thousand. Oh, this is going to get a million views. I'm just telling you, Jay. I think you just broke the internet. Want me to tighten it up on that side? I'm a little wrinkly, you know. Nobody likes a backseat shaver. Ron has a cosmetology license, you know. Oh, that's, 
That feels good. There's nothing beneath me when it comes to funding the students. <laughs> and I thank you for your donations because the students need that money. You know they can't afford it. How are they going to be in this field unless we foster them and their entry? Yeah. So th awesome. this has been my passion for quite a few years. I threw all the wild student parties trying to get them classically conditioned to like the society. <laughs> anyway, thanks very much for your donations, and we've got a raffle to do as well. The NeuroNoodle Podcast is supported by listeners and businesses just like you. 